how do you transform a community? How do you transform a country? History teaches us that you can never do it alone. Only by working together and collaborating can you bring change for all. So last year has been an amazing year for the WASH program. What's exceptional about the WASH Partners Network is that there seems to be this real camaraderie, this sense of lots of diverse people working together towards the same goal. We all came together because we all realized we had a common interest in FSM. There's been a tremendous uh, amount of partnership and collaboration. That's what I think was a very fantastic journey for us. That was amazing. This is a year where, if you look at it, when we started, our people hadn't even heard of FSS and what it meant. We went from a zero sum, where nobody knew what FSM was, to having a national policy. That's a major shift, major change. Working on financing, policy, capacity building, and getting the government interested. Which now is talking a common language, a common purpose, which is very, very important to kind of a create a kind of a revolution that we expect when we talk about the scaling in the country for the fecal sludge management. So the groundwork is laid, now what kind of building we make on that foundation uh, is going to be the next phase and I think everyone needs to be focused on that. And in this year, the government came out with a national policy for fecal sludge management and that lays out how the country can progress and what the norms are and what the expectations are. That has been a remarkable achievement for 2017. Second is we actually now have things to show on the ground about how this could work. We worked closely with the government and we brought out this policy. Based on which now we need to start thinking about how we scale up. How do we take FSM from the five, six cities where it's operating today to 5,000 cities in the next three years? Thester has spent a lot of time trying to facilitate the different task forces in behavior change, technology, finance and gender with the idea that they work with each other but that also this becomes a community of practice. Scaling as a revolution would definitely make an impact bringing in all the communities, all the uh, stakeholders, government as well as people like us who are part of this community currently as allies. To me it's not just an eye-opener but is going to be the way forward. So my expectation for the day uh, and this whole event was to reinvigorate few of the things that we are individually doing uh, in few of the states and uh, maybe geographies. So you know, using the online platform, using the face-to-face -face connect to see what people are up to, uh, finding opportunities to work with each other. You can see people know each other, people are exchanging information, the conversations are so rich. More discussion on real issues and technical things, things that we are doing, the types of challenges people face. And unless we actually are able to get people together, create this people's movement, um, I think we're going to be left wanting in terms of uh, achieving what we want to do. And because of this, others are learning what to do and it can really help to transform the sector in terms of scaling up what we are doing by bringing different partners together. It's going to add a lot of value to the sector. The ideas we'll get will be excellent. Exhilarating. Will be really different, will be out of the box. We could do more of this. And I'm looking forward to how these ideas uh, can be translated into the film. If you want to go fast, you can go alone. But if you want to go far, then you have to go together. So our theme will continue to be, as Krishnan said very clearly, collaboration for scale. We can't let go of our collaboration, but we need to keep scale in mind.